nothing in chess is uh, easy to break down hmm. so again one of the things i feel uh, that chess has taught me is that uh, very far from controlling your brain your brain is a wild horse there <laughs> and you need to work with it hmm. um, you need to work with it sometimes it will betray you and uh, it's operating according to its own clock its own schedule um, you can't impose control on that and so creativity partly is learning how to um, um, understand that you will lose control so i've often alluded to this thing of losing control mm. losing control can happen at many levels psychological um, you can feel uncomfortable or playing something and so on and so um, in chess it's not enough to focus on uh, um, the skills you can learn mm-hmm. there are also the skills uh, you must become intelligent um I'll give you one quick example. Mm-hmm. Um, I would often get to move 40. And move 40 is significant because it's the end of the first time control. Which means that you get a fresh uh, uh, amount of time on your clock. And you, normally your time pressure is over. Mm. But a lot of people, the moment, the time between move 32 and 40 is so tense. Mm. And they're so caught up in it. They're not able to stop. Mm. They'll make the 40 was move anyway. And especially once upon a time, I was very prone to this error. Mm. Um, and I was also prone to an error that when I had half an hour and my opponent had three seconds, I would try to play faster that he wouldn't have any time to think. It doesn't take a lot of intelligence to stop yourself and see that if you play fast to not give him any time to think, you're not giving yourself any time to think either. Mm. So these were two areas where I had problems. And one of the things uh, I did was I would simply make a mental note. I would think of some painful loss I had suffered as a result of these habits. So that when I went to the board, when I was on move 35, my opponent down to three seconds, he's shaking and the temptation is overwhelming. And I have half an hour. I'm in no pressure. I would just uh, tell myself to get up, go to the refreshment area, have a little bit of water or some coffee, and then I'd come back. And I found that this broke the tension. Hmm. It I stopped, uh, I had become too emotionally uh, uh, bound in the game and this broke that. And then I was able to uh, bring some sanity to the process. And especially doing this after move 40 when neither of us is in any tension anymore. Right. But just getting up, going away and leaving it for 10 minutes. And then you come back and you find that it re- resets your brain almost. So that's one technique. But there are techniques like this that you learn, uh, you know, you're part of your bag of tools and your toolkit and uh, that's how it works.